Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever. And away we go. Right, so now he's going on the correct track. That one's going that way, and then the others should be along shortly. So we'll go like that. Yes, I've just killed off any passengers for this year's run. Because we're in June already, so those don't really matter. We are currently in June, but that will be fine. And in comes the next train over there. I've actually got two trains running up neck and neck at the moment. This station's got 140 passengers here. 147. So I'm getting a lot of passengers coming in. But there's one more thing that I'm going to do. They're going to come in there. There's 150 on. I've got 70 and I've got 80 on there. So we'll allow that to run through there. And then what I'm going to do is that they're now going back the other way. We've got 60 and we've got 90 on board. And I've got 59 on this train down here. I'm going to let that one get in. He's going to come down close to this end and I'm going to stop him. I'm going to stop him there. So he's not moving. And I'm going to let that stay there until the end of the year. I'm... Um, not sure what the other two are going to do, but I very much doubt that they're going to get down here before the um, end of the year. So I've only got 90 people there so far, but I've got a lot of buses that are cycling through all of that. So I'm hopeful that we'll be able to get both of them through. So I'm going to stop all the trains. I don't think I'm going to need to worry about stopping the other ones because we're in November already. And they still both got to go through the tunnels. November the 30th, we're into December... 7, 8, 9, 10. Ooh, it's cutting it fine. Nope. Stop them both. They're going to get there before we actually make December. Right, now I can change. Now I can start them all. All three of them, I'm going to start them up again. So in they go. We've got 126 people on there. That doesn't actually benefit me very much. I got 59 that I've done so far. And I've just grabbed all of the passengers from there. They've got two more lots of passengers that's just come in. Unfortunately, though, I've got 11 passengers on there, and I've got none on that one. So we've got 200, and then I've got 11, and I've got 122. Now we've got to see how quickly they can get up this side and get these passengers. I've got 125 up there. If they get up here soon enough, we may be able to add that to the total and then get them down the other way. There's a big if right there. But we may still be able to do this. 130 passengers. And the this one down here is definitely going faster than the other two. It's coming along very nicely. We'll see now. We'll be able to see just how good they are. Because of how quickly they're going to get here. We know that one is underground almost the entire way. And that one is faster. It's quicker to go up this line than it is all the way around that line. So if I'm going to do a second line, I'll have to sort of... Do it alongside that one. And that will work quite nicely. So it's 170 people here. We're in June. Should be able to unload the passengers on board. And then load up a new lot of passengers as well. We've got 72 left there still. 122. And we both of these trains have got to get down there as well. If both of these trains can make it down to the other end. Then it's going to work. We've got 122, we've got 42, and we've got 36 on there. So that makes 164, 172, 202. That will do it. If those other two trains get down this end before the end of the year, we will have done it. And it's August at the moment, and they're both on their way. This one here, we've got no problem at all. all right, this one down here, not an issue. Okay, train three. He will get all the way through. That's not going to be any kind of a problem. I only need 150 passengers. That's all. Just 150 to get through. There's 122 on here. Which is so close. October at the moment. And those two are well on the way. He's already come down. He's already in. So maybe I'll... If this doesn't work, we'll swap over and we'll get three of those running. Because they are able to do faster runs. 472 right there. And November the 22nd. But there comes the trains. If they can get in in time, we're going to do it. December the... It's so close. Oh, it's so close. 
Yes! The time has come. The Pigeon <laughs> Bay is operational. Let's ensure that domestic flight passengers realize they're sitting inside a lame duck. Soon, the fastest trains in the entire world will be zipping along our tracks. The Japanese still hold the speed record with their trains, but not for much longer. Let's upgrade our infrastructure for the trains of the future. Upgrade the connection between Paris Main Station and Lyon to a high-speed track and transport more passengers by train than by plane over a period of 12 months. Right, so i got to do even more now. I mean, I have gone and gotten rid of the airport connections, which I'm hoping is going to help. Um, however, this series does need to be wrapped up pretty quick because we've now got Transport Fever 2. So I want to be focusing on that one, and most of you have already realized that I'm doing a whole load of extra episodes for that rather than this, and that means that we've got... Um, I, I kind of want to move my focus to Transport Fever 2, so I want to wrap up this series, and I was hoping that transporting those 500 people would actually be the end of it, but it's not. Transport 500 passengers in one year. Why do we get a medal for something we were forced to do anyway? Uh, finish the mission before 2000. I don't think that's going to happen. Achieve a speed of more than 200 kilometers an hour with a train. I've, I don't think I've got that. I don't think that's a possibility either. Um, so, yeah, I, I am wanting to wrap things up now. I, I'm wanting to finish things. So, we're, I don't know how long I'm going to try to do this next bit. We'll have to see. 200, 140, 160, 160. For those. And then... Oh, wait a minute. Oh! <gasps> 300 kilometer hour trains. Okay, I've got trains that do 300k right here. TFV long. That takes 256 passengers. That's 164 and that's 72. I think we'll have that one and we're going to run several of them. That one there is doing 200k, so it's taking a lot. We're going Paris to Lyon at the moment. Let's just bring them all in. We, we, we're going to want to start bringing them back in over to here. So I'm going to need to connect up these lines. Right. Oh, they're down the other end. They're down the other end. Let me just put a pause on that. You're going up through. You're going really fast. We've got a faster train that we can use. I mean, I think we're going to do this anyway without any troubles. But we will see what we can do over here. So you right there. Actually, I'm going to send both of these back. I can do that. I can take this one and I can connect a high-speed track onto there like that. And i can do that you right there that one i can stop you a second and then this other one here i can send you back to there go so you've stopped and you're gonna go in there yes right you've gone the right way and then this one here as soon as that one's gone into there i'm gonna do the same with this one with i mean it's not gonna take long to do the train to transported bit at all so you right here, send to depot. Go, you should. There we go, you've gone in as well. I will sell all of those trains with all of those passengers. And then this other one, train three over here. You can go to the depot as well. Oh, wow, look at the timing on that one. That was brilliant. Right, pause. We'll pause everything on here. So this one in here. I'm going to sell all of that. I'm going to sell all of that. And then we're going to buy trains. We're going to come down here and we've got these. That one there is 200. That's the one that we've already got. Then we've got that one. That one does 130. And this one does 300 kilometers. That's 256 passengers, the long one. Stand is 164. Small is 72. I'm going to go with that one because it will have a faster acceleration rate. So that is the one that we're going to take. I'm going to buy that one. 41 million that one cost. I'll buy another one for 41 million. So I've got two of those on these tracks already. So set line. No, I'm not going to set line all. I'm going to click on that one there. And I'm going to go Paris-Leon line. 
And I'm going to bring you out. And that one's going to come out and come on to the Paris Leon line. It's going to come along this way. But which line is it going to go on? Is it going to go across that track there? It's going into here. I'm going to pause that a second. And I'm going to take the bulldozer. Not going to pause it yet. And I'm going to remove that bit. And... I'm going to take that one and I'm going to stop that train. Just there. Before it actually goes anywhere at all. Then I'm going to set that one onto the Paris Leon line. And... Put that one going. So that train there has stopped. Train three can go. You there, I want to bring you over this way. You're train two. Train one over here is going in over that side. So you're going to stop. Train one will go up to there. And then we will come into here. We need to have high speed track from there onto there like that. And I want the bulldozer to move that bit there. So I've got that now all connected with those two trains. So I can unstop them both. Like that. About face you so you go out like that. And about face you again so that you go back in. And away you go. Right, that one's got 31 passengers and that one's got 53 passengers. Oops. I want to do that. I want to hold them up like that. And he's doing 200k out the front there. And he's already away and doing more than that. I only needed the short train, really, I suppose. But this one's doing all right. 230, 240. Are we going to achieve the maximum speed that we wanted? I can't remember what the speed was that we actually had to do. It's done 270. 80. Oh, achieve a speed of more than 280k. So he did it just. And that is a pretty quick turnaround. So I got 1.45 million at the moment. I want to sell this train here. Boom. I've only got 17 million. If I want to be able to buy that big train. It's this one here. That's 41 million. That one's only 28. And that one up there is 54. So that only takes 72 passengers. I want the one that takes 160 passengers. I'd rather have that one. And we'll let these trains run. There's 13 on that one. There's 151 on that train right there. And they're both running. So we need to have them transport more than the two trains, uh, the aeroplanes do at the moment. And they have got a ridiculous turn of speed on them. And they're utilising this speed as well. So the overall average turnaround is going to be a lot higher than it was previously. Because they go, they achieve these speeds all the way up to 230, 240. Got all the way up to 280k before he got to the end of the track. That's why I'm wondering if I should go for the slightly shorter one for this other line because those are 160 passengers each which is a lot i'm not going to be able to fill both of those up right that's that's not going to happen and then that one comes in there see i haven't got the passengers to run the line at the moment there's only 40 people there those 150 it gives me another 12.8 million so i got 30 million and in comes another train there He's only got 13 on board, and he's got none going the other way. So I got 33 million to just play around with here for a second. So we'll go right back over to this side here. We'll go into there. I buy trains, and I will buy the small TFV. TFV. I don't know if it's pronounced like that or not. It could be. And I will set that one onto the Paris Leon line as well. So this one is out. He's away. Zoom out a little bit. Zoom out a little bit. I'm going to follow that one. No, I'm not. Let's try following that one. That is the fastest train that we have got. And he is currently doing... What is... He, he's underground there. He's currently 270k. 
283. He went to 283 kilometers an hour before he started slowing down. That is phenomenal. Now, this one down here is 260, 270, 280, 290, 295, 29899. This one is actually reaching. 300 kilometers an hour before it reaches the other end of the line. That is a ridiculously fast speed. That is insanely fast. And we seem to be doing pretty well. All right, he's loaded up. He's got another 26 passengers. This one's got 95 coming through. That one's got none. And he's speeding up. But those two trains are running neck and neck. This one over here is running completely separate. We've got to take more than the airplanes are transported. Now, we're on 295, they're on 412. I've got a decent bus service set up, designed entirely to take passengers away from the airplanes. So, if we can have those passengers coming over to us, that is absolutely grand. See, look at this guy, he's already up to 260k. 280, he's going back up to his 290, he's gonna, he's gonna creep up through, he's gonna actually hit 300. There, 300k. And he's staying at that speed for a fair while before he comes in through into here to pick up the next lot. We've got 48 people in there. So there's a few have offloaded and we get the next lot. There's another 50 on. So 418 versus 306. Leon Main Station. They're both coming back now with another round, and he's on his way back through as well. Well, actually, he's already turned round. He's on his way back to Paris with 50 passengers. So it's, it's doing really well. Right? The, the speeds that everything is going here is doing fantastic. i got you over there, and then that one, those two are up over there. They're, they're about halfway. Look at them go. 300k trains. This is brilliant. Uh, looking at the speeds... 280, those two are both slowing down now, so we've got 83 passengers on there. I've got another 50 here, and he's slowing down as well. We've got 168 versus 342, but he's just coming in now. All three of them are just coming in now to offload well over 100 passengers, which is going to make a huge difference to our numbers over here. Okay, it's taking a while to make a difference to numbers. He's got a full 72 on board. These have got next to none on board right here 300 versus 415 we just have to keep these fast trains going backwards and forwards and i reckon that's going to do it i got 72 and then i've got another what 33 so we've got another 105 right there which if the total numbers on the planes comes down a little bit that's actually going to be about right now, uh, how quickly are they both going to get to their... Uh, well, all three trains going to get to their various stations that they should be heading to? And what's the difference going to be with the planes? Is, I mean, would it make another bit of a difference with the airplanes if I was to remove even my bus stop over there? I don't know about that. 389 versus 254. I've just unloaded 72 passengers over this side. So that's... Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if I should get rid of that bus stop altogether. I know I've shunted those away. See, I've got passengers coming off here. Are they... They, they don't look like they're going into the airplanes. 359 versus 447. They're both heading for Leon. With their... Well, 68 Leon main station. 28, Leon Main Station, and he's heading to Paris. Oh, they're over there. They're about halfway, and then he's almost got down here with 47 passengers. I've got down here another 28 passengers coming through. We're still pretty close, but we're not getting there yet, which makes me wonder if I'm going to need to do something a little bit more drastic. I mean, I don't know if removing roads from near one of the stations is going to help. Uh, near one of the airports is going to help. I don't have any buses that run through that bit right there. If 
I do this, see, there's all of our buses. I don't have any buses that run through here. So let's try being a tad more drastic and remove that completely from anywhere nearby. So I got nothing connecting that airport. I mean, yes, there are those that would consider such dirty tactics to be cheating. Cheating such a horrible word. It's 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 um it's it's acting competitively. There are those who would consider that to be a little bit excessively competitive. I'm not one of those people. I don't consider that to be excessively competitive. I think that is perfectly acceptable. Three eight one. I got another forty four passengers coming in right here to make, and there's another twenty seven off over here. I got more buses there. Thirty four people. In and away. Uh, Paris Main Station here. We're lit. We're, yep, we're slowing down now. I'm going to the Paris Main Station. Another 40. And that's dropped right down to 292. That's no good. I'm pretty sure this is going to be it. So I, I, want, I do want to finish this before I do any more. And you can see we've got a whole load of stuff building in here from all of the roads that I destroyed previously. So I have got those sort of coming back and working nicely whether I should be putting anything on here because look if I go I got nobody on board that one I got buses no I got nobody on board that one there are buses coming over to here and it's giving money on those nobody on that one okay I have seen money going on there I got people getting on to that bus what about you you got nobody so I got lots of nobodies turning up here. But I've seen people get eh, two people right there. They're coming up there and then they're getting off. Which means that they could be going into the airport. Road vehicle 30 has reached its lifetime and should be replaced. Line 6. He's only got a, a double thing on there. They're both 35 years. Vehicle replacement. We go into here. Vehicle replacement can be that one there. Okay. And 100%. So they will automatically replace those as and when they need to. So that's going to keep that ticking along. 329 versus 430. We're, we're, I mean, we're doing well, but I just can't get that last little bit there. Just not quite enough. I'm wondering whether I should put some more bus routes coming in and, like, just uh, ferry single line routes coming into them. 65, 37, and 30. The sheer speed that we've got racing through here does seem to make a difference. There's 60 people on there waiting for transport. They're going to Paris. Everybody's going to Paris at the moment. All roads lead to Paris. I wish they would hurry up and lead to Paris and just finish this little bit because then we can wrap up this series. We'll be done then. There won't be any more. We will be done with this series completely. Your building. So I've got lots of things being built in here. We do have this. What a triumph. The TGV has set a new speed record, but the Germans are hot on our heels with their ICE. We must remain innovative if we want to keep our noses in front. Let's speak to the project leader. He travels from Paris to Lyon regularly by train. He's currently on his way to the train station. Let's try to catch up with him before he leaves town. Locate project leader in Paris main station. Too late. Our service between Paris and Lyon has become so good that the project leader has already caught a train and left the city. Let's try to catch him at his destination. Right. Let's get him at his destination over here. We've got such a good service now. No luck. Our trains are just too fast. The project leader is already on his way home. Let's pay him a visit there. <laughs> okay, I love that our uh... We've finally tracked down the TGV project leader and now know what's troubling him. He always used to have his brilliant ideas during slow, leisurely train journeys. Now that the journey times have been shortened so radically, the ideas have dried up too. We could put on a special train that chugs along extra slowly from Paris to Lyon so that the good man can find some inspiration again. However, this endeavor must not affect our high-speed service. A real challenge. 
Ensure that at least one train traveling from Paris Main Station to Lyon Main Station reaches a speed no greater than 120k. Right. So I've now got to have a slow train running between the two. So this fast shuttle train here is no longer fit for purpose, and I need to get a different train running on here. So I'm going to go in here, and we're going to buy... We've got 22 million to buy a train. And we need a slow train. So that one is 120. That one is 90. 140, 200, 140, 160, 160. And then down here, we've got you is 125. That one's uh, 130. That one's 200. And we know that those are the 300 speeds. Is it possible to slow the speed of the train down? Don't think you can actually choose the speed of the train. Now, I've only got one person on board that train coming back here, so that's actually perfectly fine. So you are going to go back to the depot, and you'll go a fair turn of speed in order to get there. So that one there does 90k. So we're going to buy that train right there, and then we're going to go to wagons here. And we want a comfortable passenger wagon double deck car we'll go with this one we'll go with a classic let like this uh, standard coach passengers built in large numbers standard coach improved interior and air conditioning a first we'll buy that one there one two so I want two of those right there Get rid of that, and I've now got that train there. So this one is now going to do the Paris Leon line. Like that, and then the really super fast train that we've got right here is just going to stay in the depot for a minute and not do anything. Road vehicle 34 needs to be replaced, so we want to go to line 7. We want to go to replacement on here, and that's buses again, so we will take that one there. Okay, and we will turn on automatic replacement. Yeah, I've got three vehicles there that will need to be replaced. So they're going to go through and they're going to replace. This one over here, lowest speed between Paris and Lyon is 280 kilometers an hour. That's about to change because i got this little thing here that's just chugging along. There. He's doing his flat out speed of 90k. So that one there is just going to sit. So we'll bring train 4 up onto this one. He can only carry 44 passengers at a time. But that's not a bad thing. We've got these two rocket ships over here that are absolutely hoofing it back and forth. And I've still got this issue where I, I'm unable to finish my mission yet. We have got a nice lot of passengers here, with 130-odd passengers, 60 there and a load more there. And with the 160-odd there that I've just picked up, 94 and 53 right there. That should make a pleasant difference. This one is still chugging along at his 90. I've got 30 passengers in here. Look at that. 397 versus 468. This is starting to make a difference. Wondering if having the three planes at uh, three trains was spreading out the numbers a bit too much Maybe that's why we were struggling to do it and here he comes Still at 90k he doesn't even need to start slowing down yet All the way in over here. He's still going flat out and he's only just started slowing down there So he's not having to take very long at all and then that one goes in there now He hasn't actually gone all the way through yet. He's got a full 44 passengers he hasn't done that full journey because he went from the depot down to this side. So he's now going from Paris Main Station all the way up to Lyon. Where I've got two trains coming in now and I've got 115 passengers waiting. So we've got 282 versus 240. I've got another over 100 passengers there that just unloaded. And we've now got over 100 of them have now going back the other way. Plus, I've got the 44 here, which are cruising along slowly. Take a fair while. We're at 387, 467. How are the planes still going higher? 
This is the bit that I don't understand. The numbers don't seem to make any sense. There isn't really a lot else I can do. I suppose maybe I could, like, change some of the bus routes around a little bit. That's not helping. Those right there. I mean, generally speaking, it's not causing me a major problem, but it, it's not exactly helping matters, I suppose. If I was to put another road in there and send that one... Oh, they've got to go to that bus stop. They can do that. They can come up there on that bus stop. Right. We will, we'll, make a, we'll, we'll make a slight alteration on here. Get rid of that. I want to remove that one. So I want to go from here. Let's keep an eye on that train there. So you here, I want to take that one out that way there. Have bus lane. Uh, I don't want to do it that way. I want to bring you over to there like that. And then I want to bring you round like that. And then I want to upgrade that one and that one like that. Excellent. And then what I want to do is actually want to... A complete success. The project leader is brimming with ideas, following an exceedingly leisurely train journey. He immediately made a few simple yet effective improvements. Success. Future purchase models have significantly improved performance and traction than the current ones. Alright. So if I buy more trains, that's going to make a huge difference. So I've done the slow train. This one's on his way back through. But I got the fast trains here, and they're not making much of a difference at the moment. So these buses over here, this is the next bit that I was working on. I've got my routes that come through here. So I've got the green line to start with, line two. We'll add that one into there. And what I need to do is I need to put a waypoint in here. So go to you. Depot, cargo, passengers. Bus, tram stop. There. Ah, waypoint. Right, so I need to put a waypoint on... Actually, I want two waypoints. I want one waypoint there, and I want one waypoint there. And then what we'll do is we'll go to here, like this. And Church Road is the second one. So I've actually, I want to click on... Manor Road like that, and then click on that waypoint. Well, I don't need to add the second waypoint. I can anyway. I can put those around that way. That means they're going to go round that bus. That's what I want them to do. They're going to go round the bus now. They're going to go round both of these buses, and they'll use the bus lanes, and they'll come in here. This one is not going to bother them, so they will just run straight through without pausing. So that should just keep everything moving nice and steady in the city, which will hopefully result in us getting more passengers down over here. So we've got another 44 passengers that I brought up. There's 90 uh, up in Paris. This one here has just loaded up eight passengers on our short run. 396 versus 467. They're speeding up. They're almost over to the other side with 164 passengers on board. Is that going to be enough? And then over here, I've got 134 more passengers waiting at the station with more buses coming in, more passengers running through. 136. And I can see passengers coming in here. There's 12 right there. They've come in. And into the station is 139. Get them in. It's just not enough. The numbers, they, they get close and then they stop, don't they? They just keep getting really close to it and then they stop. There's 150 people in here. So there's all of those unloaded and I've got another 150 people that are going to go back the other way. And I've I, I got a feeling that it's just literally, this is the only thing that we can do. Because as soon as one goes up, the other goes up. Zipping along. The Japanese still hold the record, but not for much longer. Let's upgrade our infrastructure. Upgrade the connection. To a high-speed track and transport more passengers by train. I've done that. If 
further optimize bus connection city to bring more passengers to train, train stations. So maybe I it's down to bus stations. All right, it might be down to bus routes. That could be what it is. And I'm wondering if the slow train, whether I should send... I'm going to send that one back to the depot now. There's only eight passengers on there. Um, so you can go back to the depot. And then I'm going to do this. So at the moment, I've got one orange line that comes out over here, picks up and drops back. And then i got another line over here. So what's that right there? It's line... Two is the big line that goes all the way around the whole city. So I've got a line that runs right around the whole town. And then nothing else. So what I think we need to do is we need to have a direct shuttle route. Actually, we want to go here and I want to have a look at this. So I've got the residential areas. I've got one bus route that goes over that side. If I look here. That one goes over to there. So I want a bus that will go to that one and then straight back down to here. And I do have a direct route between there and down here. Which I think would be pretty good. I'm actually thinking one to there. And then over to there and back again. So I can take passengers from that one over to here. So I'm moving... Bait, that, that's going to have me moving the passengers away from the trains. This is kind of what I'm hoping here. Oh, away from the trains? Away from the planes. That's what I'm hoping. So we'll make a new line right there. That's going to be a new line five. We're going to start there. We're going to go over to that one. I'm going to go back over to that one. So let me check for any errant buses that are cruising around here that we don't want. There are none. So there should be a straight run all the way through. So there's that one. I'll go to you, buy road vehicles, that one, one, two, three, like that, set line all, line five, and then I want to go to line five like this, I want the vehicles in here, set colour, and uh, you will be that magnificent pink, there. So now I've got two lines over here, I've got six people waiting on, nine people waiting on line five, ten people on there, destinations Leon South. Right, there's fast trains going between those. That's good. Right, that's a that's a really good thing. And then if I look on here, where does it say destinations? It's not giving me destinations here. It's just saying passengers. Oh, it's just saying line five. So, they're going up round there, but that's now a more of a direct shuttle link between the middle of town and coming back through. So, line two has got some passengers running on it, but not hundreds of them. And maybe I should remove some of the stops from line two. Because I don't need that stop now, and I don't really need that stop either. Maybe that would just tweak them up a little bit. Look how close this is on here. Train 4 is in the depot, so let's go to the depot over there and train 3. Uh, that one can go. And you here. Oh, like that. Right. That one can go as well. How do I get the... I don't know why there's a picture now on there. I don't know what that's about. Right. Uh, set line all, Paris Leon. So that one's now going back on to the Paris Leon line. So I will bring you down over to there so that I can keep half an eye on you. 62 and 100. And I mean, looking at that, 162. 471 versus 403. Changing my bus route round seems to have helped a little bit. I got four passengers on there. He's off. He's going on round this way. I'm going to watch that one there. I want to see where he goes. And we may go back and do the same sort of thing in Paris and see what kind of difference that makes. So he comes round there on the bus route. He stops there. He's got no passengers on board now. 
He's not bringing any. So he's, he's literally bringing someone from the airport over into the middle of the town. Which is not really helping us. I mean, we are getting money out of it, but it's it's still not wonderful. Uh, you got 52 passengers with nobody on board at the moment. You can take up the 72. So let's have a look in here and see where we want people running and where we've got people running. So I've got a blue line that runs here into the middle of that one. I've got a, green, a, a red line that just runs over to that one and I've got a green line that goes right the way around the whole city. What I actually want then is those two stations there to be picked up on a simple shuttle line, I think. That one and that one. So I'll build a new line on here. See how this works. It might work, it might not. I'll take you. And I'll go straight over to that one. And I'll go to that one as well. There. That's all I'm going to do there. So there's line 8 on that one. I'll go here. I will buy three of those. One, two, three. And I will assign all of those. Set line all onto line 8. Line 8 over here. I will go onto the vehicles and I will set them onto that colour right there. And now I've got line 8 going up through and doing that little bit up there. It's not like a major change. But it might just help things out a little bit. We've got I know we got like loads and loads of buses coming through here. And hopefully this is gonna be enough. I've got plenty of passengers coming across the roads over here. I mean, it probably would have been better to have this one over this side so the passengers don't have so far to um, go across the different areas. But it seems to be alright at the moment. Right, let's get rid of that one. You in here, you've got 39 passengers waiting. I've got 72 on that one, 16 and 33. We're 480 versus 419. So we're, we're, we're inching closer to it. The 500 was hard enough, and now we've got this bit here. So I think that's what we need to do, is what I did just then, where I set up some extra lines. we just got these single lines coming through here. 480, 419. You've got one passenger on each line. And then this one over here. I've got nobody at the moment. 430, 329. If I could destroy one of these airports, that would make my life a little bit easier, wouldn't it? If I could just eliminate the airport completely, that would be better. I'm wondering about moving that bus stop over here and um, moving the traffic around a little bit. I don't think I'll do that. I think I will leave it as it is. We're not going to mess around with it too much. 60. Yeah, that's that's not enough to make a difference. Right, we've now got improved models here. It still says the same top speed. But what I'm thinking is that maybe we let these passengers unload. There. And then if I go stop, I got three people on board like that. I can simply return that one to depot. Oh. I'm going to leave that one for a minute. I'm not going to do anything with him. He's just stopped right there with three people on board. And we're going to send that one back. We're going to sell it. But what I need to do... I wonder if I can go reverse. Unable to find path. Right, I don't want you to pick up passengers, so I'm going to have to just sit here and wait until the other train comes up. I've just already got 26 of them on board. I'll sit here and wait until the other train comes up. There they go. They're both coming up. They will grab these passengers that I've got left. And then this one can go out and I can send it back to... Because I've got to wait for him to leave. He's got to go over there and then I can turn him around and send him back to the depot. So I need this one to come in. These two to come in. They will unload. Like that. They'll grab some passengers, and then I can unstop him. He's going to go, and then as soon as he comes out over this way, who's going to stop then? That one's going to stop. And I bring him over that way, and then I'm going to go right there and send him to the depot. So he's just going to turn around. He's going to go back in there. Like that, we will go over to the depot, we will sell that train, and we will buy the new and improved. That's on 393 already. So that one there I'm going to sell for a 
boatload of money. And then by trains, and we'll go with the small, the short one. 72 passengers at a time. I suppose I could just go with the standard one. Let's go with the standard one. That's the... No. No, no, no. I'll, I'll stick the short one. Bye. Right there. Set line all Paris Leon. Right. That one's away. And he's got a faster speed on him now as well. All right, with that faster speed that he's got, he should be able to do this even faster. He should be able to do the run even faster. So he's, he should be able to speed up faster. He should be able to slow down faster. It should all be absolutely wonderful and tickety-boo. I have one of those trains there that is going to... It's actually that one. I'm going to turn that one round. I'm going to go and watch. Yes, that is the one that I wanted to turn round. And I'm going to take that one and I'm going to send it to the depot. The middle one can't reach the depot and I don't want it to. I'm just going to swap these two trains over. It's this one here, which is the long one that we've been running. And the other one as well, which I will do. So I'll go into there. That one, I'm going to uh, sell that train like that, and then I'm going to buy another one of those, which is the standard TFV. Buy that one for 45.9 million, and then I will go in here, set line all Paris Leon, and that one's going to come out. So I'm not going to mess around with the other one, making it go any faster, but now that they're slightly staggered, wondering if that's going to make a difference to the total passenger numbers that will travel on the trains. Because that's obviously dropped down a little bit. So that'll go into there. And then we can start to keep an eye on just how fast this bad boy is going to travel. And all the way back up through again. Now previously when we've been running this one. He's gotten up to about 280k just over. And then he stopped. If it's an improved one. Should get closer to 290 I'm hoping. Before he's actually in a position where he's 280. 86, 8, 9, 2, 9, 6, 7, 8, right, he got to 2, 9, 8, so he's, he is accelerating faster, he is traveling the whole route faster, and train 3 is as well, train 1, I don't actually have a connection to one of those at the moment, so I'm not worried about that one, I'm not going to try and change that one over, I'm just going to leave it like this, so we've got three trains running at different speeds now, because this one's running slightly faster than the one it was running right next to on that track. And then this track is a slightly different length anyway. So all three trains should run independently of each other. Which I'm hoping will mean that this number... I mean, it's getting closer. 469 to 507. I'm hoping that that will mean with this slightly faster train here... We will finally get that last little tweak that we need to bring everything all the way up to the right station. So that one is on its way to Leon Main Station. Here we're on our way to Paris with 60 people on board. We just passed each other with a whoosh. That one's on its way down to Leon, the same as us. I'm not sure who's going to get there first. Probably us, actually. So we're on 358. We are less than 100 behind now. We have been, most of the time, quite a bit more than 100 behind. So we're making progress. I'm going to change this, and I'm going to set the paris Leon line. We've got load if available. Full load all. Unload only. I'm going to change this to full load only, so they only go when the load is full. We'll see if that makes a difference to how fast they travel. So they're not going to go unless there's 164 passengers to actually go with. Is this going to check? Is this going to help? I got a feeling it's probably not going to help. I mean, this dude is now sat and waiting in the station until he's got all 72 passengers on board. Uh, but these other ones, they're going to have to wait until they've got over 160 on board. Which... What I'm hoping is that 160 passengers is going to make the difference to them, at, you know, once they get to the destination, like the, the overall numbers, I'm hoping that that's going to slightly change how things are happening at the moment. 
There's 72 of those, and I'm waiting for 160 here, and I'm waiting for 160 over in Paris as well. So will this little method make any difference, or is this actually just shooting myself in the foot? I mean, it looks good, these numbers here. I had 117, 120 passengers on board that train, but he's still not going to go anywhere until he's full. And I've now got another train just slunk into the station, and he's going to start grabbing some of those passengers as well, which means it's going to take even longer. Oh, no, he's loading that one up first, and then this one will start loading up afterwards. So those numbers there are pretty tight, but with the way that I'm now doing this... I'm kind of thinking this may end up backfiring and be a stupid mistake. Let's wait and see, shall we? I'm also wondering if I should be removing that bus stop completely. Seems like that one may be a mistake. So I got 164 passengers and now rushing off. They're going down the other way. We've got almost 164 from Paris up to Lyon, and then this one is waiting for its 72. There's 140 of them there already. And we come back down this way. So that's going to be two trains that are going to run pretty much one on top of the other with well over 300 passengers between them. Plus I had the 72 from that one turn up while I was loading up. He's away. So there's over 300 passengers with those two trains. That might cause the... Because, like, the, 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 the way the numbers are being counted, I'm not quite sure how they're tallying up. It doesn't sort of make a huge amount of sense on here. Um, where are you? Train three. Oh, you're still at the other end. So there's 160 passengers have just been unloaded on there. This one is all the way over here. He's got 70. I need two more passengers on that one, and he's going to go. And then I've got another train on its way in any minute. And that's going to be another 160 passengers. So we've got 440 versus 347. And then that 160 there, is that going to be enough to just, like, push those numbers through? That might be the technique that we need to use. I mean, it's slightly frustrating that we've got to use a technique of any kind. I get 14 million from there. 454 versus 499. So close. That's why I'm wondering if I should get rid of that train there. It's like looking at these numbers over here. They're now just going to sit and it's going to take quite a while before anything comes up. So the 400 versus the 470. Yeah, and... In comes another one there, with another 72 passengers. So maybe if I stop that one for a minute, and I don't run it. I'll just stop that line, and we will just have the two trains running backwards and forwards, but only running when they're full. Right, this doesn't actually seem to be helping, and from what I've read, it doesn't make much of a difference. So we can go back to here, and we can simply do that and have them running. And we can also have this one over here running as well. So I can have train three and put that one out on the line. Doesn't seem to make much difference. And from what I've just read on a game guide... Um, Literally, there is nothing you can do other than just wait for the airline to have a bad day. We've been running it very, very close. There's not a lot else we can do. There's not a great deal of things that we can do to change this around. It's literally just wait. I don't want to wait. I want to be able to focus on Transport Fever 2. So we're going to wrap things up right here. I'm not going to do any more. I'm just going to leave it as it is. So if you've enjoyed this series and you've enjoyed this episode as well, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And I will be continuing on. There has been a number of Transport Fever 2 videos that should be out on the channel already. If you haven't seen them, then go and check out that new series. And we will be continuing on our Transport Fever goodies and fun times in the second version of the game. So that is it for this one. So I'm not planning to come back to this one again. We've covered what I want to cover in here, and we now have the new version of the game. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.